the Arlington Journal newspaper on December 26, 1941, lists this article. Navy list George Koch among missing at Pearl Harbor. Mrs. G.A. Koch continues to hope for the safety of her son, George A. Koch, despite an official telegram received Sunday at 3 a.m. listing him among the missing. George was on the USS Oklahoma at Pearl Harbor and from letters we have we think that he was recently assigned to mess duty so probably he was serving breakfast before 8 o'clock in the morning to about a thousand sailors on board that ship when the Imperial Japanese Air Force attacked. 400 were declared unidentifiable. And so we've known all of these years that George was there. We just didn't know which grave or which body. He lived his life to the fullest as a teenager. He played sports, he played football, he, play, he boxed, and he was a very likable person. I consider George an all-American boy. He was just, he would have fit perfect in some of the latter day family sitcoms where you had an all-American boy, he was the type. The stories I've heard about George, he was a courageous guy. He, he, he gave his life trying to save everyone else. So we don't know, but he was the kind of a guy that everyone says, you know, a true hero, a patriot. On uh, the 23rd of June of 2017, they brought his remains home, and uh, a Delta plane brought the remains in, and he had uh, a Navy man on board the plane to escort his remains for his burial to be the next day on the 24th. No other day in the history of our country has so crystallized what it means to be an American than does the day December the 7th, 1941. For me, for my family, I think for the town, for the Navy, for our country, um, this is closure. This is really good news for us. We've had a family grave in Parkdale and uh, since 1937. And George has had a, a grave marker there probably since 1942. So it seemed clear to me that our family really wanted him to come home. It was just overwhelming. It was so many people from Arlington showed uh, their respects by coming to the church and then on to the cemetery. He, uh, and I think he received a very proper burial like he deserved. It was just a national celebration with full military honor. And uh, I was just proud to be an American. It, it means a lot to me because uh, there's not many of us left of World War II veterans. That's shrunk down to, I'm among the last group of those guys. And uh, to think it, he made it back home, to me was great. I was thanking God for my life, for my family, for George and my country 
and the significant contribution that we as a country are trying to make to world peace. Extremely emotional. Gratitude. Georgia's been dead for 75 years, so it was much bigger than George. And uh, I was just so, so grateful. It was a time of worship for me. Yeah. Very emotional. I mean, how do you love a guy you never knew, you know? But I do, and I did.